Hello, and welcome to our virtual demo experience for uh, our solution around enabling industrial IoT using Project Even Fledge as part of LF Edge. Uh, my name is Jason Shepard. Um, I'm a LF Edge board member and also the VP of Ecosystem for a company called Zrita, and we leverage Project Eve as part of our uh, commercial offer. So today we're going to talk about um, a variety of different things. This, this section will be an intro to LF Edge as well as uh, an overview of the solution architecture that leverages Project Eve and Fledge. Um, so once you're done with this uh, uh, initial module, then you can click on the additional links to see a live demo of Fledge uh, being used in a vibration analysis use case, as well as there's some quick introductions on both Project Eve and Fledge for a little more detail. And then there's, of course, a lot more detail online through the LF Edge website and, and associated GitHubs, et cetera. So really quickly, you know, what's the purpose of LF Edge? I mean, this is really about a collection of projects coming together, very similar uh, uh, to how like Cloud Native Compute Foundation is a collection of open source projects within an umbrella. Um, the idea is to create more of an open foundation for uh, edge computing and you know, also IoT workloads as part of that. But, you know, really, you know, various levels of, of abstraction between data sources, you know, at the edge in the physical world and various different back end uh, compute uh, resources, whether they're on-prem or in the cloud. And this is to help customers and users, developers, avoid being tied into any particular silo for, for their data um, to give them more options in terms of how they scale across a heterogeneous ecosystem of devices and applications. And so all of the projects you know, serve different functions, but, but coming together, we're seeking to harmonize over time and create more of this open, consistent foundation that also drives interoperability, gives choice, enables developers to focus on value versus reinventing the middle. So you know, this is the overall point of LF Edge. And so the key takeaways, as I said, it's, it's really about uh, harmonization across various different communities, you know, whether it's IoT or uh, broadly speaking, enterprise and cloud, uh, the, the, the telco um, industry, different service providers, um, you know, bringing together various different standards, being agnostic to different technology choices, but helping to, to aggregate them. And as mentioned, it's an umbrella uh, effort, very similar to CNCF and LF Networking. Um, recommend that you check out a taxonomy white paper that we did as a community earlier this summer. Um, you won't go into all the details here, but you know, edge computing is very confusing to a lot of people because it's you have to recognize that it's a continuum. You know, it's not about thin edge and thick edge and near edge and far edge. There's actually uh, many different edges that have technical trade-offs between. Um, why you would run compute in a certain location, you know, for various reasons: autonomy, bandwidth, latency, security, privacy. And if you focus on technical trade-offs, and this white paper goes into great depths, uh, you, you know, you're always right versus, you know, ambiguous terms. And so, you know, the paper gets into detail around, are you, uh, you know, technical trade-offs, like are you on a wide area network or a local area network relative to the processes or users that you're serving? Big difference when you're doing latency critical or safety critical uh, applications, you'll always do it on a local area network. But meanwhile, you wanna scale things by putting them upstream and, and you know, over wider areas. Uh, are you in a physically secure data center? Are you are you not? Um, you know, and, and then the last one would be: Are you capable of running apps? Um, you know, given the constraints of the hardware, or or do you need to go deeply embedded? Those vectors are what the white paper breaks down, and then of course the projects within LF Edge are um, are focused on different areas of that continuum. You have a Crano that's building blueprints across the continuum, but kind of starting from that telco or service provider focus. Um, you've got projects like you know, EdgeX Foundry and Fledge, which are around uh, you know, data and the uh, application side of things for IoT use cases. Um, you know, Home Edge is focused on uh, uh, consumer uh, offers in the home. Um, We've tied in with various different services and, and, and tools like AI. Uh, Badal is about distributing uh, applications across the, the, the continuum. Uh, we'll talk specifically today about Eve and Fledge. Um, Open Horizon is also about how do I distribute containers you know, across the, the various different compute locations within the continuum. Uh, secure device onboarding project recently came in. That's about how do I create provenance across um, uh, devices as I ship it throughout a channel and, and do uh, zero touch onboarding at the uh, at the end of the uh, installation process. So 
uh, the, 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 the LFA represents a spectrum. State of the Edge actually is focused on research and reports um, that kind of help tie uh, things together. There's an edge glossary that we're, we're working in that uh, community. So all of these projects, the idea is to be valuable independently and then better together. And, and we're starting to kind of see more and more collaboration across the projects. Specifically today, what we're talking about is this notion of uh, uh, Project Eve and Fledge working together, both at the underlying orchestration layer with Eve and the application stack with Fledge uh, at the smart device edge. So as defined in the taxonomy, this means compute distributed outside of a physically secure data center, uh, but still capable of running apps. And these are for IoT workloads. So not mobile devices, PCs, tablets, but you know, headless gateways, routers, uh, hubs, servers, et cetera. Uh, could be any kind of compute, and the whole point with Eve is it abstracts the complexity from that compute, you know, regardless of whether it's x86 or ARM silicon, um, any kind of application running on top, and then of course Fledge is focused on industrial IoT data, and, and the demo gives a great example on it that, that Ashwin will, will run through in, in the, the rest of the virtual experience. And so, you know, that high-level solution architecture, you, know, you take your pick of hardware. This is for general industrial IoT use cases. Um, Ashman will talk through in the demo about uh, vibration analysis using Fledge, you know, some signal conditioning locally, but then, of course, sending the data to um, your choice of uh, uh, back-end repository or, or further analytics. And in this case, they were using uh, OSI Soft Pi, uh, but it could be any kind of data stack. Uh, Fledge is an application level framework, uh, can take in your choice of, of data sources. Um, you mix together that with, uh, uh, you know, normalize that data mixed together with different uh, analytics capabilities and then feed that data to whatever backend repository. Uh, Eve is all about that underlying foundation. Uh, it's a bare metal compute engine. Uh, think of it as a universal abstraction layer. Think of it as doing for the IoT edge what Android did for the smart devices, mobile devices in that same you know, uh, category, smart device edge. Um, you take your pick of orchestration console using the open API with Eve, and then that could deploy Fledge. You could deploy any other number of applications locally on that compute node, You know, call it a gateway or otherwise. Uh, you take your pick of data source working with Fledge. Uh, Eve just provides that underlying orchestration capability, other security functions, you know, check out the deep dive on, on Eve to get a little more detail there. Uh, the value of Eve is not only that lower level abstraction to simplify the hardware choices, but also we provide, um, you know, the capabilities with Eve to deploy not only containers, but also virtual machines. So if you have legacy workloads, maybe in industrial, you'll have a SCADA application or something for um, HMI, you know, interface. Uh, you, you name it, uh, you can take legacy applications running on Windows you know, in a VM running right next to containerized applications. So a lot more detail on the um, the other uh, modules within this overall experience. Uh, you know, encourage you to check them out, encourage you to check out the projects as well. Uh, go go look, uh, watch the video. Uh, Ashmo runs through uh, Fledge you know, in action uh, with a vibration analysis. Got a, a motor that uh, he'll put out of balance and you'll see vibration uh, analysis happening. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, you know, with that, yeah, I uh, uh, encourage you to check out the other modules and, and then of course check out more stuff within LF Edge and see what we're doing as a broader community. All right, thank you.